I'm Susan. Today I'm participating in the 50 Stack Challenge 3 hosted by Amy of Crafty Cat. And we're on prompts 19 and 20. And 19 is blue and 20 is flowers. So once again, I'm going to do Christmas cards. Try to get up my Christmas cards. Now you can do Christmas, which is kind of what this one has been based upon full on but she does she doesn't mind you can if you don't celebrate Christmas you can do Halloween you can do winter you can make these props fit whatever you want to make and you can make ephemera you can make art whatever you your heart desires this is just something to get you moving and crafting so for the um 19 blue and I'm using this printable from Shabby Dabby Doodah and I had printed it on copy paper so I just backed it on some cardstock so it can have a little bit of oomph to it for a card and I've cut my cards down I already had these envelopes I had got when I was thrifting so I made um, cards to fit inside and they're about four and a quarter by I believe it's six and an eighth high so, I just, I just kind of measured and got it. I, I don't, I'm not sure about the sizes of A2, A4, what's what. So, and I cut a base to um, fit over my card. And I believe I'm going to start with um, first inking the sentiment so that I make sure I get that right before putting all the work into it and messing up. Which I'll probably mess up anyway, but that's neither here nor there. Let's see what I have. I have, um, I think I'm just, I think I'm just going to go with a black. I've got my archival ink. So I think I'm just going to go with a black to do the inside. And I <laughs> forgot I had these. These are, um, some ranger um, stamps that I got when at the end of the season last year or you know the day after Christmas so I think for this one I'm gonna go with um, I want to do these since since what I'm doing is nativity I'm gonna go I think I'm just gonna go with um, this one Jesus is the greatest gift of all Try that out. On my other one, I'll use the Tim Holtz. Okay. Let that sit for a minute. I hope everybody's doing great. I'm sorry. I'm kind of rude, aren't I? There we go. That looks good. So, I'm not going to, um, I kind of like not doing, um, distressing the white part, but I will distress the, the cards because they kind of look a little, um, like they should be distressed. And it hides that little white core, too. But, I have enjoyed this challenge. Amy is really good about it, and I love seeing what everybody else has made. There's a few that I really come back and watch, and I did the same on this one, too. This is all from one of um, Tina's, the Shabby Dabby Doodahs, one of her kids. So, I'm just going to keep this one fairly simple. I might get a little bit of Trying to, I think I'm just going to glue this one down, and I think I'm going to put some foam tape under the blessing since it's going to kind of go over our foam dots. And let me get that unstopped. Have 
a lot of trouble with my glue today for some reason. And I cleaned it and changed my pen and everything. There we go. Well. So I'm going to kind of off center it just a tad. And then I'm going to get some foam to put underneath that. Okay. Go ahead and get the They stick well, that's for sure. Okay. And before I forget, I'm also, I don't know what I did with it. I went back and did these on my cards last week. It's made, made for you. And I'll sign my card. All right, I like that. And I am going to, um, first of all, And I liked it so well last week. I'm just going to um, use some of that um, Distress Rock Candy for um, just for like the white part of this. Just kind of here and there. Just to hit it a little bit. I like the look it gave. It wasn't overpowering. But it really, it really looked nice. I'm just kind of dabbing it around. That'll dry, the glue will dry clear and it'll just give it a little bit of a sparkle. Oop, that would have been a mess. I mentioned in my last video, I had a time the other day, I was trying to do, do a, um, something in my art journal and it was like everything went wrong. I was dropping everything. And I... And I forgot to put the base down on my card. I declare. I wondered why it was so much white. It is too late to get up. Let's see. Pray for me. I don't know what's gotten into me. See if 
I can salvage this. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know. Does the good Lord not want me to do this? Get off any extra bumps. And let me distress this. Y'all, I don't know what is wrong with me. Round my corners. Trial and patience. The good Lord's been hitting me with that here lately. It didn't look right, and I couldn't figure out what I had done wrong. And I even cleaned off my desk to help me out. Okay, I'm not gonna let this whoop me. Okay, so let me distress this. If it looks that bad, I'll put a, just a, a little something on the inside. Of that sheet, just to make it look a little more finished. Okay. Go ahead and round those corners as well. That dries fast. I got my hands all in it. Okay. Now, that looks much better. Now, I want to use my glossy accents and do the very center. Let me 
get up something to okay I'm hoping I don't get air bubbles Let me get another pen. One that's a little deeper. I think whatever I'm pushing down to unclog keeps coming back. But I'm going to end up with air bubbles the way this is going. It's not even like I can unscrew it to get it from the other side. Okay. Now we're talking. bubbles sorry I'm not talking I'm in heaven so many issues every time I get behind the camera. It's almost hard to tell if it's the bubbles or a glare from my light. I'm afraid it's bubbles though. If you have any tips with working with this and not getting bubbles, please let me know. No, that's a big bubble. I think I'm making it worse.
let me work with this and okay. I'll be back. I've got it smoothed a little bit, but I'm just going to have to accept the fact that it's going to have bubbles. And I, I don't know what to do about that. I don't know how to get it out there, especially when my... If I could do it in one, one fell swoop, but it keeps clogging. And it's not like I can unscrew it so that I can unclog it from the underside. Because it's just made into one thing. I don't know how to build it. But um, I guess I put that little thing down in there. Maybe I can lift that up. But I, th I think it'll be all right. Most of my stuff ends up with bubbles anyway. Why should this be any different? And I'm going to let that dry. And I'll work on the um, envelope and work on my next, next card. All right. I think for the envelope for this one... I think I'm just going to simply add that to it. Okay. And it will be, it will match the card. simple. Alright, now for my next one. I'm going to put the background down first. No, I'm going to stamp first. So let's hope I don't forget the background. Okay, on this one, I think I'm going to use Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, it looks good to me. Let me kind of rub that, get a little bit of that. Like I've never used this one before. Hope I get it even. All right, I like that. And do the made for you. Now, I'm going to put this background down for some reason. I want to go ahead and do that first. Let me round my corners. I tell you, some days, and it's been a lot of them for me here lately, if you just knew what went on behind the scenes... My friend Barbie of um, Nellie and Ruth Designs, she bragged on me, and I think that's what messed me up. <laughs> she talked about a mistake I had made, Now I just worked through it. Now it's like everything is a mistake, and I'm just getting so agitated. No, I'm just kidding. I wish you would go check out Barbie's channel. It is She is so talented. Okay, so let me put this down. Okay, 
this envelope will go with this card. I'll have to make one for the other card. What is wrong with me? I can't complain. I got a good night's sleep last night. This one is flower, and so I've got these poinsettias, or poinsettias, however you choose to say it. Growing up, my mom always called them poinsettias. And I've got this, this is just um, off cut, let me round it, from the blue that I had used for the background just to, so I have something for them to stand on to ground them a little bit. Now, I think I'm almost scared to do anything now, but on one of those Tim Holtz stamps, that I just had, there they are. There is a one that says Yeah. I didn't leave myself enough room. wasn't quite enough room so I'm not going to sweat it because I had a backup. That one says Merry Christmas. So I'm just going to use that. I probably have issues with the embossing powder anyway. <laughs> the way it's been going. So maybe I just need to I'm gonna put a foam dot on that one. Or a little piece of foam tape. I'll use the phone dot. We've got Merry Christmas. 
Christmas. And I've got holiday cheer. Let's see if I can cut that down. I am going to use, since I'm not embossing, I'll use my rock candy again. And I'm just going to put it over that snow. Let me see. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that first before it dries. A little sparkle there. And I think I'll put some around the hat. Okay. I like it. And I believe that I'm going to add little gold dots in the middle of my poinsettias with stickles. And there we go. I'm going to let that dry. This is the envelope that goes with this one. So now I need to make an envelope. Decorate the envelope that goes with the other one. And 
Let me see what I have. I know I have some. I've got that. Now I have some more images. there we go. We've got the envelope for the first card. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be back. Okay, here they are and I turned out a lot better than I thought they would. Especially this one. If there's teeny tiny bubbles, it's not that noticeable. I hope you can see. I think it, it ended up turning out really pretty. And I'm so thankful because I really struggled. And I just added this on the inside just to strengthen the card where I had pulled off the um, that and my envelope to go with it. And this one, I love the glitter on it. I love the stickles. And my card to go with that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, even though I had <laughs> I had struggles. Today hopefully is better because this is the next day and I let it dry overnight. But if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Vis visit Amy's channel at Crafty Cap and, and check out the hashtag 50 stack challenge three to see what everyone else has made. Y'all have a great and wonderful day. Love y'all. Bye.